Former President Olusha Gwambasojo has expressed his appreciations to the management of the National Open University of Nigeria, his supervisors, and all others who contributed to the success of his PhD program. The former president was speaking at a dinner to commemorate his newly bagged PhD in Christian theology from the university. The dinner was organized at the instance of the School for Postgraduate Studies of the university, headed by Dr. Samayla Lamande. President Obasanjo said his passion to pursue a PhD was to demonstrate that there is no end to knowledge and it took him a great determination to fulfill the PhD dream. He said he would like to be addressed as Chief Olusha Gombasanjo PhD rather than the other way round, so as not to have a clashing name with a son who is also a doctor and bears the same name as he. Because my first son, who has a PhD in architecture, he went to ABU and had a first class before going abroad. His name is Olusheb Obasido. So if you, I don't call myself Dr. Olusheb Obasido, there may be confusion. <laughs> <laughs> so they were asking me, I said, okay, I will be chief doctor. Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Abdallah Obadamu, said the former president has written his history and crossed the Rubicon. Professor Abdallah said President Obasanjo has demonstrated that nobody is too old to learn and stressed that the former president is a living proof. When people reach your age, sir. Some of them, and I have seen quite a few, some of them sit down quietly waiting for death. Others mourn the fact that their friends, their relatives, their children are all dead and gone, and therefore they lose the spark of life. Sir, you have introduced a new paradigm in human existence. Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, Dr. Samayla Mande, who extolled the virtues of the elder statesman, described him as a humble Nigerian, whom, despite his old age, went through the rigors of education and is better for it today. The dean, who went down memory lane on the resuscitation of now, said the former president played a significant role and has been able to etch his name in the history books of the university. He wanted to do ODL a favor to promote open ambitious learning what he brought back to the country to make sure everybody will see that discipline of all year. And that's what we are celebrating today. Others at the occasion who eulogized the former president include former vice chancellor of the university, Professor Vincent Adotenebe, the former executive secretary of the National Universities Commission, Professor Peter Okebukola, the registrar Jam, Professor Isha Koloide, and the vice chancellor University of Ibadan, among others. It is quite true that this man, who has been referred to as a past correct, indeed, has influenced so many lives, including mine. No, you don't really need that certificate. You don't need the thing. But you see, like uh, the chair registrar said, PhD is a doctor of philosophy, which you're able to philosophize. You go beyond being a master. You go to a level, a realm, that you are not able to philosophize about issues. So Abbas's mind has been retuned to that high level. Baba is such a person that your being friendly with him does not give you any immunity when you do something that is wrong. He's probably the foremost African leader. He yeah. respected well, more, more abroad than even at home. And for him to have added the PhD to his uh, chain of uh, achievement, I think it's something to all of us to, I mean, to be proud of. It. The former president bagged his PhD in Christian theology after meeting the necessary requirements from the National Open University of Nigeria. In Abuja, Pidemi Adewumi, Now Media.